morning, staff and students. Today is Wednesday. It is November 1st. It's an A-Day, and as always, I hope the lines are ready to roar. At Howard High School, we are filling our days with pride. That's punctuality, respect, integrity, determination, and, of course, excellence. Speaking of excellence, let's celebrate some of our excellent students there. Student of the Month for October. Our CTE department recognizes Logan Lurie. Congratulations, Logan. CTE Student of the Month for October. Grace Hack is our English Student of the Month for October. Congratulations, Grace. There's two for Fine Arts and PE for October, Sioli Jacoby and Asha Kadagala. Congratulations to both of you for your October Student of the Month wins. The Guidance Department is celebrating Julie Regan. Julie Regan, congratulations. Catherine Tavares is the Math Student of the Month for October. Great job, Catherine. Science Department celebrates Richie Pierre. Richie is our Science Student of the Month for October. Michael Nicklin is our Social Studies Student of the Month for October. Congratulations, Michael. And last but not least, the World Language Department recognizes Christopher Garnsey as the Student of the Month for October. All of those Students of the Month stop by on Thursday to get your, yeah, Thursday, tomorrow. Stop by the front office to get your picture taken for the front board there. Congratulations to all of our students. Today is Lions Time Day, and there is a, a special Student Voice Summit going on. Uh, our SGA hosting a Student Voice Summit on bullying today. I encourage all of you who have ever been a victim of bullying, if you've had someone call you a name, talked about your weight, talked about how you look, talked about what you're dressing, just talk about the things in a mean way. That's what we want to make sure that we are addressing here at Howard High School. We want our school to be the best that it can be, and we know that a positive environment where we value each other is what we want to have here at Howard. So if you want to come talk about your experiences and come talk about how we can make Howard an inclusive and a place where we value each other and we know that each other is so important to the school that we have here, then come down during Lions time today and let's make a difference. So have a good day, Lions. This is my marching band costume for the show Legally Blonde. <coughs> oh, that's right. I'm in that. I can't wait to help you get ready tonight. Now, let's tune in for some more exciting announcements. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Speaking of the play, we sent Max out to meet some of the cast and get more information about the play. Take it away, Max. Hi, I'm here with Ellen from Legally Blonde. So what's your role in the musical? Um, I play Margot. She is one of Elle's best friends. Hi, I'm here with Sarah Cheney. So what role do you play in this musical? Um, I play Paulette, uh, who is a hair salon lady. So what part of the musical are you most excited for the people to see? Um, I'm excited for people to see all of the hard work that we put into the show in general. All the songs are really fun, and there's lots of fun dancing and singing, and there's also two live dogs in the show, which is also really exciting, which I think people will really love. That's, that's great. Now I'm here with Deanna Schwartz, who plays Enid in Legally Blonde. So Deanna, do you, would you say that the play like closely follows the way the movie runs? I think it definitely follows the plot pretty closely. There's a few characters that have been added and characters whose roles have been made more prominent, but the plot is pretty much the same. Hi, I'm here with Allison and Lucian, who play the two main characters, Warner and Elle, in Legally Blonde. So what part of the play are you guys most excited to perform? Uh, personally, I'm more most excited to perform the second act. Uh, there's a lot of fun songs and fun numbers in that act, and it kind of comes to a nice conclusion at the end, too. That's good. Um, on the other hand, I'm more excited for the first act. I think that it's um, very, also very fun and very captivating for the first act. Too. Make sure to show your love and support and come see Legally Blonde November 1st through 4th at 7 p.m. Thanks, Max. This is such a great play. Tanaya, can you remind everyone when to see the play? Sure. The play opens up tonight at 7 and runs 
each night through Saturday. Tickets are available on Howard Theater website, and you can get them get a three dollar discount with your purchase online. Make dinner a oh. make dinner a selfless act by joining us for the fundraiser to support Howard High School's Gary Dickey program. We're tying in. Come to the Chipotle at. 9120 Baltimore Pike, Baltimore National Pike, in Ellicott City next Monday between 5 and 9 p.m. Bring in the flyer or tell the cashier you're supporting the cause to make sure that 50% of the proceeds are donated to the Howard High School JROTC. Man, I love me some Chipotle. Me too. The next Jewish Student Union meeting will be in, on November 8th in the cafeteria at 215. Please see Mrs. Bowers in N108 with any questions. Make a Wish Club will meet today at 215 in room B208. See you there. Are you a ping pong or table tennis enthusiast or perhaps just interested in learning a new game while hanging out with some fellow Howard Lions? If so, you should come to the Howard High Ping Pong Club interest meeting this Thursday, November 2nd at 220 in the atrium. No experiences needed. All are welcome. See you, Mr. Mandel if you have any further questions. Freshmen, there will be an SGA class meeting today in room B137 at 2.15. We will talk about fundraisers and class shirts. Join us. The UNSF Club will have their first official meeting tomorrow, the 2nd, in student services. Leadership positions are available. Come join us. Qualified students interested in joining the Spanish Honor Society, applications are now available and are due December 1st. You must be a junior or senior in level. Spanish 3 or on, Spanish, Spanish three honors or above. Request and see Professor Martinez. Come join the Fellowship of Christian Athletes for prayer and fellowship every Wednesday from 2.15 to 2.30 in room B123. You do not have to be an athlete to participate. See Mrs. Lawrence or Ms. Brucey if you have any questions. Well, well that's, that's all we have, have for you today, today Howard. Have, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, and we'll see you tonight at the opening of Legally Blonde. Blonde.